What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at my first waterproof film camera, the Minolta Weathermatic Dual 35. So without further ado, let's get to it. Released by Minolta back in 1987, the Weathermatic Dual 35 was an upgrade to Minolta's existing Weathermatic camera. Where the original used 110 film, the Dual 35 used 35mm film and featured a much improved autofocus system. The camera was aimed squarely at the consumer market, so ease of use definitely takes priority in its design. The top right features the lens select button, more on that in a sec, the frame counter, and the shutter button. And over on the left is the power switch. I always try to toggle this carefully because I see a lot of these cameras on eBay with broken power switches. That lens kinda has two lenses in one. First is the 35mm f3.5, and then when you hit the lens switch button, the camera electronically drops another element into the optical stack, effectively switching to a 50mm f5.6 lens. The viewfinder also has some glass sliding in and out so it can change its field of view to ensure your composition lines match up with the focal length you've selected. The camera uses an infrared focusing system that works by emitting an infrared beam and measuring the angle of deflection when the beam returns to the camera. The system works well about 80% of the time in my experience. Just be aware that it can only focus on what's in the very center of the frame. Infrared doesn't really work underwater though, so the camera fixes focus at 2.5 feet to infinity, or you can hold the underwater close-up button to focus between 1.5 and, and 3 feet. Underwater, the pictures look pretty good all things considered. I mean, it's not a Nikonos, but with a bit of editing I don't think they look half bad. Above water, when the camera focuses right, Image quality is really good. It's no Leica, but for a point and shoot, it's fantastic. Loading the camera is actually a bit different. First, open the back, and then you unhook this film pressure plate here. Insert the roll on the right, and drape the film later over the rubberized spool on the left. and then click the pressure plate back in and shut the door. Now, there are two things that really irk me about this camera. The first is there's no way to turn off the flash. And for the second, we have to dive into the manual. The manual here has some helpful tips in it, like don't belly flop with your camera, don't play water polo with your camera, don't swim so deep you drown, etc. But here on page 7, it clearly says you have the option of using either a lithium battery or four AAA size alkaline batteries. And over two more pages, it clearly shows AAAs can be used. The bottom of the camera though says CRP2 lithium batteries only. And looking inside, for some reason, there's a plate bolted and glued in that covers the bottom AAA contacts. Funnily enough, the top contacts, they're still where they need to be. So I have no idea why that plate is in there. And I tried to remove it, but it is very well affixed. While I don't mind using a lithium battery, having the assurance that if it dies, I can go into just about anywhere and buy a new battery would have been nice. And strangely, I can't find anything about this change on the internet. Those are all fairly minor quirks though, and I still really like this camera. The accessories, in my opinion, are useful only to a few select people. With the exception of filming this video, mine haven't left the closet since I got them. And this thing, the sports finder, I get that it's made for use with a dive mask, and I'm no scuba diver, but I really have my doubts about how useful this would actually be. So in conclusion, this is a great all-around camera, and if you're going to be taking pictures outdoors, in the sun, or underwater, I would definitely recommend it. 
Chime in down in the comments if you ever used that sports finder. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit like, get subscribed, and ring the bell so you'll get notified when I post new videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.